For the sign of Libra, hello and welcome to my channel. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Libra, the recent past energy. The Five of Swords. And it's with the Three of Pentacles. Now the Five of Swords, you could find that you have mixed feelings about life in general. Maybe a few people or a person in particular. But don't ignore these feelings. Um, but make sure you don't fit, don't um, speak every word that you're thinking and feeling either, because it could ruin the very things that you want the most, such as close intimate relationships with your friends, with your lovers. So you have to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. Now, it's with the Three of Pentacles, which is a very positive card in the tarot, especially when it comes to work, career questions. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Three of Pentacles, it tells you that the people around you, they appreciate you, they notice your efforts and the quality of work that you do, even if you don't get paid for it. It tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're right on track. There could be some room for improvement. But, you would not have to scrap something and then start again. So, the recent past energy between you and your person, Five of Swords, clarified by this Three of Pentacles. So, what I'm getting is that you had some mixed feelings about your person. Something happened. And you just, maybe you just view them differently. Or you started to feel different about the, started to feel indifferent about the connection, about the relationship. Something happened. You wanted to say a lot of things to your person. You wanted to be very expressive. You had mixed feelings. But like I said, you knew if you did, you might have said the wrong thing. And that probably would have caused a lot of conflict. Yeah, some things you were not happy about. Because if you can see the Three of Swords, um, it's the card above the word pass. This man, he has two swords in his hands and three on the ground. There were a bunch of people at that fire. There's a little fire there on the ground, a campfire. There were people sitting there. They saw this man coming and they scrammed. Now the, the wolves that are in front of him, those animals or dogs or whatever they are, they just got a glimpse at this man, and they're about to scram, too. So, your person made you really mad about something, and you were about to let them have it. But it looks like you kind of maybe bit your tongue. Yeah. And your person, they knew this, so because the Three of Pentacles is here, they try to make you feel better by maybe impressing you with with something. Yeah. They did something to try to make you think that things were not as bad or whatever happened was not as bad as you're making it out to be. So they tried to impress you in some kind of way. But your person made you really pat, really pissed. That's the recent past energy. Now, Let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. I have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. No, nope, not the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. That's the card above the word present. And the Ten of Swords. The card below the word present. Ten of Cups is beautiful. It's actually one of the most uplifting cards you can get in a reading. It points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. It's a good card to see in a reading. It speaks of happy family. Happy life. Even if you're single. And to the overall well-being that goes beyond you to include those that you're most concerned about. Your parents, your siblings, your children, your pets, and much more. You could also be spiritually fulfilled. At this time, it's a part of the picture also. Great card to see, regardless of any question. 
Now, it's with the Ten of Swords, which is a signal to be careful about where you put your trust. When the Ten comes up in relation as to whether you can believe what a person is telling you, or trust that a situation is stable, well, it's a pretty clear answer of no. However, however, you have to keep in mind that whenever a door closes, another door opens. You're being guided to a situation that is better for you. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. So like I said, your person is trying to impress you, to make you forget about whatever they said or did that made you so mad. But you could be I'm getting that you whatever happened that made you so mad you it caused you to feel like well it's starting to cause you to feel like you no longer trust that the connection is stable yeah you just you no longer have faith in the connection anymore you feel like it's going down it's it's become a failure or you feel defeated or it could be ruined that's how you're feeling you're no longer feeling with these swords in your back like that you're no longer feeling that the connection is going to be stable or or you're no longer feeling that it is stable no longer trusting it and you could be feeling that you need to be looking for your ten of cups or you might know someone already that you feel is a dream come true for you or you could be thinking that this is this is not what you signed up for this person is not your your dream come true ten of cups is a dream come true so for some of you, you already know someone who is your dream come true. And you're just no longer trusting this connection. Whatever they said really pissed you off. And you haven't, you haven't been able to shake it. So you're thinking about your Ten of Cups. Whether it's someone you know already. Or some, suit, or some new situation or person you're trying to bring into your life. That you feel would be much, much better for you. So we move on to horror and we take a look at the charge. Well, we got the Empress and it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Empress, just know, she doesn't play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own ideal of what is right, what is wrong, in any and all endeavors. Now this doesn't mean she'll always get her way. But she's a reminder not to ignore your creative, not to ignore your intuitive side. The Empress is actually about coming abundance, but... You don't want to make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially because there's many types of wealth, many types of riches in life, and money is actually only one of them. But as the Empress, well, you can have it all. Yes, you can. The Empress can have it all. Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles, which points to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished, dedication to the task is going to be important and admired or admirable but if you let it work for its own sake it can actually be counterproductive so be clear on what you're trying to accomplish strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time the eight of pentacles it can indicate a very hard work period now this does not have to be negative but you do have to be prepared for it So, what I'm getting for the challenge for you, Libra, is that a person still wants to make this work. Like I said, they're trying to show you things to impress you. That was a recent past energy. And it looks like they're going to put more work and effort into it. They're very attracted to you very attracted because the empress it's actually a potent time when you get the empress is a potent time for love you could find that men and women alike 
they're suddenly finding you far more attractive, both in terms of friendship and romance. So yeah, your person is drawn to you. They feel that you're different now and that you could be focused on something else. You're no longer trusting that the connection is stable and they're feeling your energy. So they might start to do a lot of, a lot of, they might start to do more in the connection to let you know that they, they want this to work. And they're drawn to you, very attracted to you. So we move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Knight of Cups and it's with the Seven of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is very optimistic, good card to see in a reading. This one does come with messages. Usually they're the kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. It tells you that things are going well. You're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action. Usually with the Knight of Cups, it's good news when it comes to matters of the heart. So some information, talk, text, communication. It's coming in, it's headed your way. Now, let's look at the Seven of Cups, which is a card about choices. It can indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization, having too much going on. Yet, there's a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and do most of it not very well. So, choose just a few of the important things that are on your plate. Work through them one by one. You could start to feel overwhelmed. But just remember, you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So the outcome, Libra, like I said, your person, they feel and they know that they, they messed up. They said or they did something stupid, and it really pissed you off. You're thinking about, this is not what I signed up for. I'm looking for my Ten of Cups somewhere else. You no longer trust that the connection will be stable. Your person, they're, they're willing to work hard to fix things, to make things right. They're very attracted to you. So they start doing a lot, of, lot more things. A whole lot of more things. Because if you look at the Eight of Pentacles, this man is working really hard. He gets up in the morning before sunrise. He starts working. And it looks like it's becoming nighttime. And he's still working. And on top of that, the raindrops are huge. So your person is willing to put in the extra work to fix it, but sometimes things are not fixable. Sometimes sometimes people can really cut you and leave a deep mark on you with the things they say and do. Even though they they're drawn to you and they like you a lot. So your person they're gonna come rushing in. They're not through with you, Libra. They're gonna, gonna come rushing in with well, the Knight of Cups, they rush in. The Knight of Cups rushes in being romantic and sensitive. So, you've already got things going on, though. Yeah, you're trying to put this on the back burner or trying to stay busy. Or for a lot of you, you're trying to bring more into your life, bring something different into your life. So, you, you're doing a lot of things. You're not really trying to focus on this person or this connection. Yes, that's that's what that's what it's saying. Some the person really really pissed you off. So who knows? Maybe they'll they'll convince you to stay. But it just looks like right now the outcome. You make busy, or you're gonna be, you just yeah you're making busy. 
Yeah, you're making really busy with the Seven of Cups. So you, maybe you're trying to give the give them the impression that you're out. Or maybe you, for some of you, you, you are out. You've already got other people that you're interested in. So that is the reading that I have for you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Libra, thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for my subscribers. Thank you for my new ones and my old ones. It's very helpful when you subscribe, so I appreciate that. I appreciate all of you. So I hope that you all are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Libra reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Also, I'm doing a yearly reading for you guys, for all signs, so that's something new. The first one I did was for Scorpio, and it seems like it's going pretty well. So yeah, that should be coming up too, really soon. I'm really excited about it. I think you guys will like it. So I can never say it enough, Libra. I thank you so very much for watching. Also, keep in mind, for this reading, the roles can be switched. You know that you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with someone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, could be a family member or a situation. So just had to throw that in there. So I hope to see you at the next reading. I hope you have a great day and take care and take care.